G'day, we're in the uh, we're in the shed today working on the pits again. Got a little bit of downtime, got an ankle surgery a week ago, so trying to make the most of light duties and try and get this thing finished off. We've got it pretty much ready to go apart from the engine. We've got Hayden Pull and Mitch Pullen here today working on the, the engine and the wiring, trying to get that final piece of the puzzle done and then a few more little bits and pieces painted and she'll take to the skies, hopefully. Here's the cow, this thing took me a couple weeks to get it on. I bought the cow in two separate halves and then had to carbon up some little pieces and glue them in here to make things fit underneath the cow and make some better airflow on the cooling. So although I bought the cow, it wasn't finished and it took a lot of time to make it, make it fit this machine. So let's keep moving back. Next bit of the puzzle was the canopy. With this plane, everything's custom made, so you can't just go buy anything off the shelf and, and nothing's gonna fit. So you've got to make it from scratch. Big job here, I, do, I made a 4130 really low profile steel frame here. And then I've got some plexiglass here. It's just covered in blue tape to save it from getting scratched. And plexiglass is then glued in. And I've got a little carbon strip around the front here that I've got to trim up to make that a little nicer. But that carbon strip will eventually glue on. Another few layers of carbon into here to fare everything in nicely, give it a little bit more strength. We've got a total of probably three days left at the paint shop, but I want to get the engine moving and get that kind of ready first. So as soon as we get from back from the paint shop, screw everything on and away we go, hopefully. And also have all the control surfaces on now and hooked up. Everything is torque sealed back from, pretty much from the stick back. So we're kind of ready to go as far as the um, airframe goes. Loose bolt here, that's a wing bolt, it's not really important though, but we'll get that tightened up. Next up, we're gonna get the cowl off now. The engine's a big mess under there. Hayden's gonna um, help us tidy that up. We're gonna order all oil lines, get the inverted oil system on. I'll throw you over to Hayden. He's gonna give you a bit of info on the engine, what it is, and how eventually we're gonna make this thing go a little faster. Hey guys, what we're doing here today, We'll plumb all the Christian inverted oil system up to this with our good BMRS hoses. We'll measure all the lengths and get the hoses really nice and neat on this thing. We need to do a good job on this engine, even though it's only the spare engine to get this plane going, because we're building a hot rod 590 cube angle valve engine, which will replace this one. But we'll still do the hoses nice and neat because the same hoses will go onto the next engine. We'll get the wiring done, put a set of slick magnetos on the back of this thing, so they can be wired up, same as the new engine will go on. And We'll get it pretty close to getting it ready to start so we can get Jacko in it for his first test fly. These things are to get on, aren't they? So we've got the, we've dummied up the, all the oil, Christian inverted oil system and fuel pump. And now we're measuring, trying to measure all the lines. Hayden's calling the numbers out, I'm writing them down. We're gonna get measurements on everything, then order the hoses. That's the next step. So just trying to get our head around where everything's gonna be routed. Very confusing. I'm just going to use this cheap airline here just to get the actual real hose length uh, size. We'll actually cut that and actually make it like for real. Then we'll just throw it in the bin once we know that we're happy with the size. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out where to put the gas collator. That's this thing, tells you when there's water in the fuel, it's got a little filter in there. And we're trying to get that from the fuel tap to the front of the engine. We're just trying to figure out best place to put all these little bits and pieces so the hose routing's the cleanest. Right, number five, we've worked out inverted valve center. Yep, there. Yeah, well obviously that's gonna make sense if it's there or that port, eh? Yep, yep, makes sense. Righty-o, we originally we were gonna get the hoses made to length, but we figured out there's too much stuff going on, too many angles, too many things that might change. So we've ordered all the fittings, ordered the hose. We're gonna make the lengths and then we're gonna send them back to get crimped and they're gonna go back on and she should be ready to go. So a little bit longer probably than getting them made too length and putting them straight on, but at least it's gonna be done right and we can, don't have to be rocket scientists in measuring out where everything goes. 